guys hope you're all doing well so I'm really excited to do this video today we are gonna put on for the first time try it play around the new um it's not that new it's been out for a little bit <laughs> the Milani all-inclusive eye cheek and face palette I have the um one in uh medium to deep is that what it's called deep I don't have my glasses on and this is what it looks like. So what it is, is a face palette. You have three eyeshadows in the middle, which you can use any of these. It's all powder products. You can use any of them on your eyes if you want. But you have a contour. You have a blush. You have two blushes, actually. A matte blush and then a blush with a little bit of um, satiny finish. And then you have a highlight. So Milani came out with this palette. And another one was like the light to medium one. They're about $15. I got mine at Walmart, but I just saw them pop up on the Ulta's website. And, of course, they're on Milani's website. They've been on there for a while. I'm really excited about this because I think I mentioned in another video that if I was to do a makeup line, which is not out of the realm of possibility, a full, a face palette, like an all-in-one face palette, like, you know, eyes, cheek, you know, all that, for deeper skin tones because all-in-one face palettes are not new, they've been out, but... They are not something that is, I mean, we, I ain't getting into the whole soapbox of like shade range inclusivity, but like that's something that like it's not a one fits all. It's never going to be. You're going to need multiple ones. In my opinion, I think you need at least three, you know, like a light to medium, medium to deep, deep to rich, like kind of like, I just feel like you should. And that's something that I definitely want to, to create. And, um... It just, it's just not there. It's not there in the market. So I was very excited when Milani came out with this all-in-one face palette, which, again, a lot of companies come out with them, but there's not many pre-made that are either a rank where they come out with multiple ones um, or the one they come out with has deeper... Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So, and without a bunch of wasted shades. Because that's one thing. You have plenty of contour palettes where there's like six or eight contour colors. But depending on your skin tone you're not going to use some of them so a situation like curated all-in-one face palettes i think that's just a better go-to than to try to make one palette to fit all of us because that ain't that ain't how it work but anyway i am going to use this palette for everything that i can use it for and fill in the blanks obviously with other products but i wanted to i saved this i bought this a while ago but I saved this because I wanted to do it on camera. Finally getting around to do it. Um, and so I am primed, prepped, browser done. Uh, eye primers on. I don't have any concealer on this primer. Just regular eye primer. My NYX waterproof. And my face primer's on. We'll get there. We'll get there. So in this palette, you have three eyeshadows. The look ain't going to be super, super glam up. That's okay. You could, you could kind of push it if you want to push it. It's okay. Um, but you have three eyeshadows in here. The top one is a matte brown, which don't go in our crease. Then we have a beautiful uh, shimmery shade that I'm going to put on the lid. Um, definitely. And then darken it out with, uh, with this here. And then we can add, pull in whatever else we want to add to the situation. Um, I just really like the idea of this. So let's go ahead. This is going to be in real time. See how, also see how quick, how easy this is. Um, I did not do any like concealer or anything on my eyes because we want to see how these perform without all that. If I remember, I haven't had too many issues. I haven't had issues with Milani's eyeshadows. However, I could be wrong. I don't use Milani eyeshadows very often. I really enjoyed their gel powder eyeshadows that popped on the scene for like two and three quarter minutes and then disappeared and so it was ugh. so i already like this really matte shade i'm going for again a really nice cute look as much as i can do without going full glam i'm not i am going somewhere later but i'm not it, it doesn't require full glam although everything requires full glam you can do full glam whenever you want but anyway um <laughs> i'm actually not even gonna put on any lashes today because i want to continue using some of these mascaras that I need that are like on their deathbed and I have so many new mascaras that I need to open I haven't bought a new mascara in probably like a year because I still have so many unopened mascaras that, and because I wear falsies so much mascara is not something that like I invest a lot in now I have favorites for when I don't wear when I don't wear falsies but again most of the time I'm wearing falsies so I have my few favorites that I like 
um, when I'm not wearing falsies, but again, so. So this is the lightest shadow in here. I already feel like what I want to do is use this highlight, the highlight shade for an inner corner situation and a brow highlight situation when we get to that point, but. All right, so we got that down. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go into that deeper shade and just uh, define the outer corner, the outer edge a bit. Um, and of course, we're gonna come back to it, baby. We're gonna come back to it. So I'm gonna use the Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, it's a little bit of a fluffier eyeshadow brush, okay? And I'm going to take that and I'm gonna place it. I'm gonna place it on the outer part of the eye so it's not that deep it's not this is not going to be a deep look um depending on your skin tone but again there's contrast so I wish they would have put maybe put four shadows in here I really like this layout I like how small and compact it is so you kind of got to do what you got to do um to have like these face shades big enough that they last and like um that your brush can fit in them uh I feel like this is probably as small as would be acceptable for like if I was to buy a highlighter or something like that so I do I do get it and I do appreciate the small size I really really do but again we ain't never satisfied with nothing <laughs> Uh, more shadows would, you know, but, but, I'm not complaining. These shadows are blending just fine. Again, this is not going to be the most full glam situation, because when we go full glam, or when I go full glam, I'm pulling in everything. It's, it's fun for me. It's a journey for me. If I'm getting ready for a big full glam event, I'm not just grabbing this all in one palette. This is the travel. You want to look good. That's what, that's how I would treat it. Um, and it is giving me what I need to give. I'm not even applying a lot of pressure, um, to blend, uh, these shadows together, but, yeah, we're getting there. I actually need to film another video after this. Um, I try to, like, film, y'all know I film in bulk. I try to, um, I don't know. I think it's fun that way. <laughs> so, this is what we're, this is what we're working with. This is what we're working with. I ain't mad at it. Again, I'm not going to like... I'm going to do probably like a fake... No, not a fake cut. But just watch how I put the lid shade on. I'm not going to like cut the crease. Again, we're not being all super dramatic. But I'm going to push it to what I want to push it to. Alright, so I'm going to get a flat shadow brush. Um... I have, of which I have quite a few, but can never decide on one when it's time. Alright, I'm going to take this one from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to go into the center uh, shadow shade. It's a pretty bronzy pink, pinky color. Let's see how that lays down. I'm starting the center here. Oh, that lays down beautifully. There is nothing wrong with that. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. So I'm going to put it on the I am gonna like be a little bit direct with it like if I was to cut it but I'm not gonna cut it y'all know what I mean y'all know what I mean put that on the lid oh pretty 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 now if these aren't your type of colors these bronzy coppery that they ain't gonna they ain't gonna do it. I would love and somebody probably gonna steal my idea but starting my brand to have these different types of themed um face palettes where like Okay, there is the bronze collection, and there's a light, medium, and deep. And then there's like a gold collection, light, medium, and deep. You know, I could do something. I could do a little something, something, but you know. I don't know. Let me deepen up this bit a bit. See, and we really, we really got the shadow. We, we have it. Um, really pretty. Really pretty. Again, it's not um too boring like it's not too boring you that shimmery shade is really it's really nice so we doing it we doing it let's do this side oh that's pretty i'm really glad that these shadows um show up nicely not saying i didn't expect them to but you never know i don't remember the last time i used a milani eyeshadow so i refresh my memory Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. 
cute. She cute. She she is cute. I think I'm gonna come back to that gold for the eye. Uh, uh, I really want to. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Maybe not on the brown bone, but definitely that inner corner. Okay. Let's see what we have for... Let's just continue. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. That's so pretty. We, we getting somewhere. Okay. So I have some other things in my basket that I want to use for eyes and stuff. Um, and I guess I'll show you. So these are some of the NYX Jumbo Pencils. I'm kind of glad these came back. Uh, let's pick one to go something shimmery under here. I think I'm going to go with this one here, which is called... <laughs> Frosting. And that'll be my eyeliner. I'm not going to do any eyeliner to take... I don't want to take away from. I'm not going to do any eyeliner on the top. Um... So, oh, that's pretty. It's light, lighter than I thought it would be. Probably that's what I get for not swatching it, but, hmm. That's really pretty, though. So, that's frosting. All right, and I'm going to do something quite... I was going to say quite dramatic, but it's really not. <laughs> I'm going to do that inner corner now. So I'm going to go into the highlight, uh, hopefully. It's going to give us what it needs to give. I'm going to go into the highlight and do that in my inner corner, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what it needs to give. That's exactly what it needs to give. Overdo it. If it's worth doing it, oh, that's beautiful. That's about to, I'm about to cover my face in it. I'm about to cover my face in it. All right, whatever. Let's do the brow bone. What the hell? Let's do the brow bone. Ooh, sis. <laughs> and then I'll go back a little bit with that original, the original um, matte shade at the top. And work it. I'm in a great mood. We doing something. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and apply some mascara. Again, I'm not doing any liner. Actually, what I think I want to do is take a bit of this, uh, the deeper one. Where are we? And let me go underneath. Let me smudge a little bit underneath. Because... Let's do it. It's not too... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Cute! Oh, this makes me so happy. And I will say, when I do makeup, I am not... Like, if it's a situation of... I would say I usually wear no makeup for all of it. If it's a situation where I have to rush, which is rarely, but I still need to put a face on, that's one of those situations. I'm rarely in those situations because I allow myself adequate time. I plan my life out where I don't do too many impulsive... Let's go out in the next 30 minutes. But... <laughs> in terms of where I need to put makeup on. But... Um, this is there for that. I am going... <laughs> I am going to apply some mascara. Um, I'm going to make these lashes look really good. I don't know what I'm going to use. Figure that out. And then I'll come back. Um, I guess I'll do a speed up of the face. I'll be back with the mascara. Let me, ju let me just be back. Okay, so we have our mascara on. And we're looking good. I really like what we have, what we're working with. So for the face, um, we have in here our contour, two blushes, contour, two blushes, and um, a highlight. And I'm going to use all of those, but uh, we need to put a base on. So my face is primed. Now the base, I'm going to just do the speed up, but I'm going to tell you all what I'm using. Um, I'm using some things like working through my new items and stuff. Um, <laughs> so I want to wear some of this... Um, illuminating glow like liquid illuminator from makeup revolution this is the bronze one um i'm going to put on this is the la girl tinted foundation 
it ain't that much coverage on it. Um, I'm going to play with it because I really want to filter this back into my collection because it's been in that bin for a while. And I don't remember when I used it, how I felt about it the last time. So we're going to wear this, but I also bought, not bought, but I have some new concealers. I don't know if I t showed them in a the haul, but these Zoeva concealers. They were on clearance for like $4. Um, so I'm going to play with those, see if I can get some more coverage with those. Uh, I'm going to, and if the coverage, I have my RCMA powder for my, ooh, for my under eye. <laughs> and, um, and to help it with the coverage, because it ain't that much. I have my Makeup Forever powder foundation. Not necessarily because I want all these products to work together, but because they're, they need, like, I want to use them. That That's what that is. So, um, let me put those face base products on. And, um, I guess I'm already primed. Um, and let me put those face base products on. And let's do that. Let's do that. from that face situation I hated every bit of it except the makeup forever powder so I don't remember using this before so I, I think I lied to y'all this is the first time I used this and the coverage was nothing it says buildable natural finish it wasn't I will say I saw a smidget a whisper uh oh I got something in my eye I saw a whisper of evening evening it out and then the concealer these Zoeva concealers didn't give me any coverage either. Um, so I still see, but you know what? It's fine. Natural. It's fine. Um, oh my god, I have something in my eye. <laughs> um, yeah, so... But, the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation definitely saved it, brought it together. I think it looks beautiful, minus the under eye area, but we, we, we gonna keep moving. Let's get back to the star of the show so let's start with this contour so this is probably the lightest lightest shade of contour that I would reach for um so if you are a smidge lighter than me but maybe too dark for the light palette that could potentially be an issue and it's also not super cool Uh, yeah, it's giving a little warmth, but it'll work. But yeah, this is definitely not a deep contour. It's it's not going to be a super deep casting the shadows of death. It ain't giving you that. 
It's smooth and it's very pretty. Mmm, she's pretty. Don't get me wrong. We cute. We cute. Okay. So for me, so far, this palette is giving me... I don't have an everyday look, but if you were an everyday look type of person. Because it's contour, it, it's pretty. Definitely smooth, easy to blend, matte, beautiful. The face looks good, but I had to work for it. <laughs> I don't like my under eye, but again, I had to work for the rest of this coverage, the rest of that. I had to work for that. Um, and pray on it. Okay, so for blush, we have two options in here. Um, I think I'm going to go with the matte one. Definitely going to go with the matte one. Let's swatch the satin one quickly. That could almost be a highlight. Um, that, okay, it blends out definitely to satin though. It's not super ridiculously shiny as it looks in the, in the pan. But because, I, I just want to use the matte one. So let's go ahead and get into that. The beautiful brick, brick red blush. You don't want to do too much because you will be Ringling Brothers, you know. So, pull my blush up almost above the apples now. That's something new I'm doing. Something new that the kid's doing, so. You know, we got to follow the kids. <laughs> oh, so pretty, though. Yeah, beautiful. It's complimenting this look, complimenting the eye. We getting there. It's looking beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Favorite part. Favorite part. Let me grab this highlighter brush. Let me grab this highlighter brush. Do you have a nice, clean, fresh one? I do, I do, I do. Let's do this. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Love highlighter. Love it. <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw it on the eye. We saw it on the eye, so we know. We know. Look at that. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. This palette is $14.99. Yes, I'm overdoing it. Yes, I'm putting yes. Uh $14.99. Now drugstore creeping up with prices, but I think $15 for this is probably the most I would want to pay in the drugstore. Um Yeah. But again. I don't know. If you're really looking for something like this and you know deeper skin tones. There you go. I'm gonna pay a little more. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. So good. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. So let's go ahead and add a lip. Um, what lip I threw in this basket? Okay, we'll do this lip blush. This is the Sephora lip blush. Um, it's one of the like velvety, moussey lip stainy things. Oh, I can't read that. It's number nine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the name. Sephora can put their names a little bit bigger, just just so humans can read them. You know. Oh, so soft. I think this type of lip is appropriate. I wouldn't call this look exactly soft, by the way, because we giving it to them. But definitely not the most glam we could be. Oh, I like that lip. Ooh, -wee! okay. Let me spray this face with some Fix Plus. Let's do that. I don't necessarily need it, but it's addiction. It's an addiction at this point. So how we feel about it? I am really, really impressed. I'm really happy. I'm not saying I was gonna be impressed, like unimpressed, but when you have these type of palettes, again, this is one of the few I found that I can use all the shades. They work for me. Absolutely beautiful. I love our little look we came up with, okay? So are you going to pick this up? Let me know how you feel about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!